The Wolf Pack is back. The party has moved to an exotic location, but does a change in venue mean a change in storyline? It's a mixed bag of fun, folks, and it's time to get flicked up. Fred Martin from the FlickedUp.com studios here with you again. Thanks for watching. Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, and Zach Galifianakis try to get out of a big mess in Thailand in The Hangover, Part 2. What is it my teeth? This is a real tattoo! Alan, what did you do? Did you root me? I didn't do anything. No! The gang is reuniting in Thailand because Stu, Ed Helms' character, is getting married to a Thai beauty, but just like the first film, they have a little toast before the wedding. Then they wake up in a Bangkok flop house with no idea how they got there. And from here, the film turns into a race to beat the clock as they try to piece together the night before in search of the bride's teenage brother who's gone missing. Chiang Mai Monastery. I don't remember any of this. What is this, a P.F. Chang's? Where the hell are you? We're in Bangkok. Hala, idiot squala. Justin Bartha is back as the friend who never gets a hangover, and Ken Jeong reprises his very popular role as Mr. Chow. The journey runs into special guest stars like Paul Giamatti, Mike Tyson again, and my favorite, the drug dealing monkey. <laughs> <laughs> when a monkey nibbles on a weenus, it's funny in any language. You know, I loved the first Hangover film. It was original, funny, and it was the top grossing R-rated comedy of all time. But this film, sad to say, is pretty much a copy of the first with a different background, really. It's not as funny, but it does at times make you laugh. And for that reason, the Hangover Part 2 gets a 3 on the flickometer scale. It's like the first movie, with really the only difference being the location and the wardrobe. That being said, I'm sure it's going to do well with moviegoers. So now you know before you go. Hey, thanks for watching this FlickedUp.com review.